Right lads, welcome to CK3, welcome to the fate of Iberia. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, as you might be able to tell, there is a struggle going on. Uh, that's a standard Iberian thing. But we ourselves are an interloper. Uh, and that's because we're Augustus. We're, we, well, we're gay, apparently. I randomized that, so that's a thing. More importantly, we're Hellenic and Roman. We also start with some amazing traits. Shocking, that. Uh, we're zealous, just, and temperate with mastermind philosopher education trait. We're an August, or, yeah, well, it's kind of in the name. We're a theologian, a miracle worker, a journaler, a holy monarch. I think that'll definitely help with this sort of region. And we're also born in the purple, because I figured, why not? So we're a pretty good character overall. Terrible intrigue, but otherwise, really good. I think in sort of, in my sort of canonical explanation of this situation, uh, there is a Roman with obviously the Roman culture, who has seen the uh, possibility of, of beginning the Roman Empire anew in these new uh, disputed lands. And so we're going to see if we can make Hellenic and Roman from being an interloper to being involved. Basically, what being an interloper and uninvolved is, is that uh, everyone's going to hate us. <laughs> and we take huge penalties for holding this territory. So it's going to be actually really hard. We start with these two counties. We're going to go ahead and attempt to convert and promote our culture and basically try to make this land uh, Roman again. So here are the effects for us as an interloper. Uh, it costs less prestige. Converting is less expensive. But converting faith in county progresses faster, which is nice. Otherwise, yeah, we kind of just have bad stuff going on. Uh, essentially, what this means is we're going to impose our will, uh, which we're going to do internally rather than externally. Now, if there's anyone we could pick off, it would be brilliant. But I may have picked a start that's a little bit too hard. An alliance from Aragon. Probably a good idea. Right, I should probably get married. I don't know if I want to marry my spy master though. I do need a wife. My spy master has zero intrigue. I think I'll wait for someone else. Alright, who do we pray to? Ares for strength in battle. That sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, what's going on here? Who are you fighting? Defending against someone. Defending against someone. Oh, I've, I've got to do it, right? Chaos, that's all what we have to try and uh, uh, try and take advantage of. Wait, what? All right, or we can go after a child, a literal child. This is a good idea. This is the Roman way. <laughs> Victory over the child. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just going to demand conversion of everyone around me. Just trying to convert people to Hellenism. All right, in fact, you all... Okay, you're Mualadi. Let's convert you. Negotiate, release. Demand conversion, release. Look at that. Your Yemeni. Let's convert you. Mate, this Islam business. You know what's better? Zeus. No, wait. Jupiter. Damn it. I'm Roman. I'm not Greek. Okay, you got 2,500 troops. Let's give this a shot. I need to stay with me, bud. I'm going to have to go help them out because they'll fight. I need to help. There you go. Okay, that was close. Okay, we won. That's important because uh, the Almoravid Grand Emirate almost came in. I think they are about to come in and I don't want to be fighting that. But that's a, that's a good little win there. Thank you very much. Right, can I marry anyone else now? Fatim. Do need a kid. Eh, that'll do. Can't I have multiple wives? Yeah, I can. My wife is pregnant. This is good news. And I might have to go after Garnata. I'm really spread out, but I kind of have to do this. I need to take my opportunities where I can. Okay, one second. Let <laughs> me quickly go back and, uh, and ruin these guys' day. All right, we've got another Augustus. Good job, lad. Well done on being born and not dying. Please don't take my capital. Please don't take you, son of a bitch. White piece. And why? <laughs> we haven't even fought yet. Let's go take out his capital. Or at the very least, fight him. Oh, he's already dead. Man, we picked our targets really well so far. It should be over pretty soon. There we go. Ooh, taking these islands could be fun. Mallorca. Been on holiday there. That was fun. I'll call in my good old pal. I'm going to go straight to his capital. Uh, he's gone straight for my capital. Or like one of my provinces. No, okay. We need, we need to fight that. I'm assuming my friend's here. Yep. That's a big win. Excellent. Look at that. That's how easy it is, boys. That's how easy it is. Okay. Let's, let's calm down a little bit. We might be going a bit far. Oh, nice. Larida is now Hellenic. Or Roman, sorry. So that's good. <laughs> Large criminal organization commanded by Suero, the king of thieves. What a badass. 25 intrigue. Bro, come work for me. Felipe is going to join my court. Who, who's Felipe? This guy. <laughs> nice hat, idiot. <laughs> what? You're raiding me? Why would you do this? Am I allowed to raid? Romans, the Romans raid? I don't think they do. Oh, we do. Hello. Oh, dear. Why can't I raid anything? <laughs> There's no raiding happening. I was about to say, I feel like raiding is quite a Roman thing to do. Go and fight me, see what happens. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. I captured his son in there. Oh, that sucks for you, bud. What can I do to him? <laughs> Things are about to get evil. All right. Can I negotiate his release? Oh, I can only get a weak hook. Oh. Yeah, somehow. I think I'm going to keep your air. What? What? 
Okay, so you want to play chess? Sure, let's play some chess. All right, nice. We we won. Pretty sure that puts him on critical distress, so I think that might kill him. <laughs> Just because he lost the game of chess. Granada seems quite weak, uh, and I like land, so we're going to go after him. I don't have the money to sail, so I don't know why I did that. We are so hideously in debt. Come here, buddy. I need the war score. Thank you. Well, would you look at that? Uh, it was said that August turned himself into a god, so that helps. <laughs> Basically, usually I end these things if I uh, if my character dies, and I'm having a lot of fun, so I don't want him to die. Also, Castile's getting a bit bigger. We're not one of the major powers here, uh, and we need to change that, so we're going to declare war this lot. Oh, wow, new guy. All right, well, this should be a lot easier then. He's got 900. Raise all our guys. Let's bunch everyone up. Our son came of age. He is a tough soldier. Wonderful. Okay, we are going into debt for this. That's fine. Hopefully we capture someone important. Because I cannot sustain this for long. Oh wow, we raided some... What? How did we make that much money? Okay, he's going to fight me, which will give me enough war score to take his land. Thank you very much. One more, and then I can become a duke, and I can start conquering a little bit more freely. Plus, we'll have the illustrious level of flame, which... Uh, flame? Level of fame. Ah, oh, Tunisian culture's formed. Lovely. It's equal inheritance. Look at that. Tunisians, we're just so progressive. Oh, what? what? You want me to declare our friendship? Oh, that's really sweet. We're going to become best friends. Oh, and he'll die if I don't? Oh, boys. It's not a smart move. I'm going to do it. We're best friends. <laughs> All right, my heir is unmarried. Uh, we're going to... Oh, we're going to ally with him as well? We're going to marry our children off? This is kind of cute. Did you just... Did you just raid me? Oh, hell no. <laughs> you know what? You know what we're going to do now? We're going to go raid you. I stole your heir last time. Come back here, bucko. Raided two of my promises. I'm gonna go raid his capital. Apparently, I'm just joining in the siege. Yeah, Castile's kind of doing bits over here. This is uh, mildly terrifying. What just happened? Who declared war on me? Cortuba. All right, rally the troops, boys. We'll go to war. That's a lot of troops. I'm actually gonna hire some mercenaries. Wait, my best friend, aren't we allied? I'll pay you 100 if you join in. You're my friend. You're my friend! I swear we allied. What happened to that? All right, form an alliance. I need your help. And you'll come in as well? Hell yeah. Oh, this man's about to get stomped. How many troops do we have now on our side? About 8,000 or 11,000. Nice. I don't need all these troops. All right, I'm going to go take his capital. Castile wants to help me out? You have a lot of troops. I'll accept that. Oh, you split into Leon and Castile. That's a little bit more comforting. This is a massive war. How have you got this many troops? Cortuba has a lot of troops. My God. Well, a lot of those mercenaries. Boys, you want to you wanna help? There we go. There we go. That's enough. Okay. What do we get out of this? We get 300. Actually, we might profit it off of this war. See, I paid 100, but I didn't have to pay the, the one I could steal. I actually made a lot of money off of that war. This is smart business. Did this guy learn Latin? Hell yeah. Good job. <laughs> Why? Okay, France has taken over Barcelona. That's a little bit annoying. And France is allied to England. Truly, this is the most cursed timeline. Can I fight you again yet? I can indeed. Conquer County. Instant win. Enforce demands. All right, brilliant. Now I should be able to become a duke. Or whatever with the, the equivalent is. Ducks. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Oh, am I now involved? I'm involved, boys, we made it. Oh, the faith is involved. The culture's involved. We're just so involved right now. Unfortunately, I think that gets rid of our like whole like duchy conquest and stuff. But still, that makes our realm a lot more stable. Ooh, conquering a duchy like that could be very useful indeed. Let's do it. Hmm. I could bring Cortuba into the fold. Eh, well, I'll allow you for now. Sorry, daughter. He does have uh, the great pox. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, let's go and murder him. Excellent. Our troops are lovely. I think I'm. This, this is owned by someone else, but I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Well, we'll just take it off him. Thanks for the help there, bud. I think this is owned by him as well. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was. I thought I occupied it. There we go. Right, we're all with someone else now. So we to go deal with that. Go on, bud. Excellent. Right, I do have a plan for these lands. Uh, I don't know if it's a smart idea or not. Okay, I'm gonna hand off my lands to, to, to people, right? Because this is all this is all Andalusian, and uh, in terms of faith, it's all Mualadi. If I get them to convert, like you know, they accept the demand of conversion, I think that they'll convert the land as well. So I'm gonna give that a go. So Fadl is going to get this land. He's going to be so grateful. I demand his conversion. I'm going to accept. Don't know if that worked. Okay, that, that, did, that did not work. <laughs> my bad. We're just going to give this stuff to this guy. Uh, and this I'll give to my son. All right, time for me to go and collect some personal uh, conquests. Amir Ahmed's spy master. Okay. I'm going to join his feast. 
Whilst we're feasting, I'm gonna come and take your land. <laughs> Cheers for the feast, bud. Thanks for telling me where the entrance and exits were. Oh, nice. You, you ended my truce early? Brilliant. It's gonna conquer this. Can I call him my old buddy? Yeah, you know you want to get involved in this. What's weird is, aside from that first one, we haven't had a single revolt. Just gonna quickly murder you. No, Amir Saad, the only man I've ever truly loved. Oh, my wife's dead. Okay, everyone's dying now. Excellent, before they lose that battle. All right, let's go grant to one. Uh, you are Roman. You're also ill, so I mean, I'm just gonna give you all this. Oh no, my, my wife is dead. That sucks. That means I need to um, get a new one. I, I always keep on pulling people from these Mandate face. Where are you from? I, I don't know where I'm getting these guys from, but sure. Why can't... <laughs> what? No, I have no available spouse. I'm pretty sure I have a spouse. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna divorce you. You, you, didn't, you don't serve my needs. It's a very short-lived marriage. What about you? All right, there we go. You won't be converted? All right, we've got to do this whole song and dance again. want to convince you the merits of uh, Hellenism. I was really good friends with your father. Unfortunately, I'm not really good friends with you. Why am I at war? Oh, right. Yeah, I declared this war. I was really confused for a second. Dear grandfather. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll enter an alliance with my grandson. Why not? Oh, instant win. Always good to see. Wait, my wife died? Ah, oh, I've got to get another one now. She died in childbirth? Ah, oh, so inconvenient for me. All right, to find another African bride, I suppose. Why are we all... I don't understand how we keep on doing this. Found a holy order. The Mimidons, yes! <laughs> oh no, you poor bastards. <laughs> Just gonna nip in here and ruin your day. You can't split apart in these times. It's dangerous. Right, one army needs to go and handle this. Excellent. Let's grab you. I think one of these Roman Hellenic guys coming out of nowhere. All right, I do want to mildly start going after these holy sites. So we're gonna start out with uh, Tunis. Right, let's go attack those lot. Right, brilliant. We've taken this. Right, I'm going to keep Tunis as my own. I'm going to get you to manage the main. Does that put me over an edge? No, it does not. I've stolen a bunch of stuff. So what I get if I have the holy sites? Uh, natural Dread. Learning to get Mount Olympus. I'm going to have to fight the Byzantines, which kind of sucks. I mean, I could take out the Papacy. I could take out Rome. 8,000 troops? From where? 8,000 troops? Oh, Jesus. Well, let's get a claim on the Papacy anyway. So though, who in the Reconquista saw the Romans coming back? They've been struggling for the last couple of hundred years. <laughs> you know, Christian or Muslim and this sort of stuff, the Jews were eradication. No one expected the Romans to come back. Specifically Hellenic Romans as well. Our troops are actually really good because we're Roman, which is always nice to see. Uh oh, oh okay, that's, that's bad. I really overestimated my troops there. My apologies. Won't happen again. Let's just quickly death stack and then march on him in the mountains. There we go, much better. <laughs> that was almost bad. Is it just him? No, there's more of them. But they're dead now. That's two wars one. All right, we've conquered Barcelona. All right, I can found a new kingdom. Let's do that. I'm going to get all the best amenities. Also, the regnum of Mallorca doesn't sound good. We're going to go for... All right, that's better. Hispania Citeria, because that's apparently what this region was called. All right, my old ally uh, died, so now it's time to go after his sons. Because that's just the Roman way. That took a long time. Right, lads. I think that's where we'll end it for today. I think I have fully established that uh, the Romans are back here to stay. Uh, we're about to go into the compromise. Uh, phase, which will help us quite nicely because we've sort of conquered everything we need to conquer. The man is 95. It's uh, it's not realistic we would have survived this long, but, you know, that's for fun. Uh, I probably, if I were to continue this, would probably go and snipe uh, the Byzantines and the Papacy and the Fatimids. We're making a lot of money, so we can probably outproduce all these guys and we have a max of, like, 12,000 troops. So we sort of hit the snowball phase, especially seeing as we don't have to deal with our succession and we actually have great-grandchildren. Uh, for example... This man here is 20 year, 10 years old and he's our great grandchild. And no one finds it suspicious that we've lived this long. Right, lads. Well, um, I hope I proved my point. The Romans are back in charge over here. Uh, I like uh, sort of reviving dead religions and dead cultures. So if that's something you want to see more of, let me know and I'll pick one. I don't like the fact that France owns part of Cornwall, but I'm glad to be ending the video here. If you'd be so kind, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>